A word from Nancy Appleton, Ph.D. Homeostasis is the word used to show a balance in the body. All of the blood wants to do its best to stay in a balance. The blood glucose, the calcium, the phosphorus, the blood urea nitrogen, all the different factors want to do their best to stay in this very fine line. I'm Dr. Nancy Appleton. Today I'm here to help demonstrate the Body Monitor Kit. Before I do that, I'm sure that many of you are aware of my first book, Lick the Sugar Habit, and then my new book, Suicide by Sugar. These books I explain in depth what homeostasis is. I'm going to show you today how you can test for homeostasis. We have what's called the Body Monitor Kit, and you literally can monitor parts of your body chemistry and find out if they are in homeostasis or not. This kit comes with a book that says how to monitor your basic health with pictures to show you how to do it. It comes with the Silkowitz reagent, a reagent that I'll show you how you use to test your urine. The pH, it tests the acid alkalinity of your body. We test your saliva and your urine. And it comes with two test tubes in case you break one, but you usually don't. A eyedropper and a test tube brush to clean your test tubes so they don't get calcium on them. Also comes with two CDs, both of them helping to understand more about homeostasis and testing. So what you do is you first take a glass, it can be plastic or glass, it doesn't matter. If you can see through it, it's probably better. Uh, so you can see that your urine is clear to begin with. If it's not clear, wait an hour or two and take it again. Because sometimes you slough off the epithelial cells from the lining and it leaves a residue in there. But there's nothing wrong, it's part of the body has to eliminate a lot of different things but you can't test if you don't see it clear. Okay, so you put a small amount, you really don't even need that much, into a cup. And then you take your pH paper, and first we're gonna test the saliva. And I'm just gonna take an inch, an inch and a half off, and I'm going to put it in my mouth. I'm gonna goo it up. And the only time that this is good is early in the morning when you wake up. You really shouldn't even get out of bed, so put this on a chair next to your bed and test it. And then on the side of the pH paper here, you have a chart. And ideally, your, your saliva shouldn't be too acidic or too alkaline. If it's yellow, it's acidic. If it's green or blue, <clears throat> it's alkaline. So this sits, as you can see, right between, and that's about what it should be, 6.6, 6.8, or 7. What you do is you take, get a, either glass or plastic glass with some urine in it. You need very little. And you're going to take your test tube and put it in the urine and you're going to get out seven drops and put one in seven drops in the test tube. Just one test tube. We give you two in case one breaks. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then we're going to take the Silkowitz reagent and we're going to put seven of, of these, of the Silkowitz into it too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, I got eight. That's okay. I can just add another drop of the urine. You want a one-to-one -one test. And while we shake this a little and hold the Sokowitz test, you have three results, basically. It's either clear, it's normal or hazy, or it is cloudy. When you get these results, it's easy to read, but again, this is a crude test, but it is a test that you can use over and over. And again, as I said, it goes in the now, now, now. So do it in the now, do it before you eat, do it after you eat also, an hour after you eat, or more if you don't 
have to pee, don't do it until an hour and a half, and that's okay to do it too. The first urine afterward, which has been over an hour. Test can be also used for testing for food allergies. When you wait, there's a, 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 a whole section in the book that explains this. And what you do is you, again, test yourself, and when you find yourself in homeostasis, you eat a food you think you're allergic to, and you have to wait one hour from the time it gets to here till you urinate it. So after, oh, wait an hour after you eat, and then do it again, do the test again, the sulcowitz and the pH of your urine, not the saliva, that's just morning. And if either one of them go out, if you, if this looks very yellow or dark blue, if your little test shows that it is very cloudy or very clear, the letters actually become very magnified when it's clear. And when that happens, you know that's not homeostasis and that that food is probably bothering you. And I recommend you remove that food from your diet. Many people can do this for two months, remove the food, and then after that they can reintroduce it and they're no longer allergic to the food. But this is a wonderful little test to test for food allergies. After two or three days of eating your own food plan, you'll find that you're not in homeostasis very often. I suggest that you go directly to food plan three which is the most strict of our food plans, and, and use that and see if you're in homeostasis with that. Now, the, the tapes and the book will also explain to you how to do some fasting, how to try to get your body back in homeostasis if you're unable to. Now, for more information, I suggest that you might look at my website, www.nancyappleton.com, where you can find a kit that we have called through three weeks to a new you and in those three weeks you read all of my books seven of them now I guess you listen to nine different tapes each hour one's an hour and a half you test yourself and you'll be amazed once you regain homeostasis so many of your symptoms will go away so Look me up on www.nancyappleton.com and you'll find lots of information. Thank you.